Okay, so in the third video, we use the rational root theorem to determine that our possible roots could be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, and plus or minus 10. So that means we have eight options uh, that could possibly be a root for our uh, equation here. Now we can go ahead and we can use synthetic division and try to use synthetic division with each and every single one of these possible roots. Or we can put our calculators to good use and we will just simply punch in our, our function and if we get a result of zero we know that that root works and then we continue to use the division. So how we type it in on our calculator is simply we're just going to use positive one for now. So I'm going to punch in bracket one, close the bracket, put it to the exponent three, have to hit arrow over otherwise we'll just get bigger exponents, um, minus six and then we had are one, so we're just putting one in for x this entire time here, um, and then we have plus 13 times one, which is our x again, minus 10. Okay, now we're going to hit enter, and if this is zero, we know it's a root. It's not a zero. Okay, now let's try negative one. So what we do is we go, we have to hit up, up, and enter. And this is going to let us go back to the same one. So we're going to hit our arrow keys until we get all the way to the front of this equation again. Now we're going to have to go second, insert, a negative sign. So we can get that negative in there. If we just put a negative, it's just going to overwrite our one, and we don't want that to happen. So then we're going to use our arrow key to get over and insert a another negative. We need to do this to every single thing that we had inside of our brackets. And then we also have to do that to this one. Second, insert, negative sign. Alright, and if we hit enter, we have negative 30. Okay, so that does not work. Now let's try 2. And since it's a positive 2, let's just go back to our original one and use that as our template. If we were going to use a negative, I would suggest we use this one, so we just have to put in a 2 over top of our 1 as opposed to inserting the negative. So let's just hit enter so we can get back to this one. Scroll all the way over to the start again. And then once we're over top of our 1, we can put a 2 in. Okay, put in another 2 here. and put in another 2, scroll over, minus 10. All right, we hit enter, and as we see right here, we do have a 0. So that way we would know to use 2 in our synthetic division. And I will stop it right there, and you can go back to the other video to see how this finishes.